Unlike most other classes, science labs have potentially hazardous situations because of the chemicals that are used. These can include acids, bases, toxic chemicals, flammable substances, and many others. In this program, we'll learn how to handle chemicals safely in order to avoid chemical spills and splashes in the lab. The first step to handling or working with chemicals safely is to know and understand the risks associated with using them. All the relevant safety information regarding a particular chemical is provided by its Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS. During an experiment, a copy of the MSDS for each chemical being used should be close to hand. The next step for handling chemicals safely is to be familiar with the main hazards, which can be found on the chemical bottle or container. The container label has information on risk to a person's health, the degree of a fire hazard, the chemical's reactivity, and the personal protective equipment needed for safe handling. The appropriate protective equipment depends on the particular chemical being used. The necessary equipment could be splash goggles, gloves, a chemical apron, or all three. With some chemicals, further precautions are necessary. Certain chemicals are gaseous or produce an odor. These should be handled and kept in a fume hood. Many accidents happen when chemicals are moved from one place to another. Chemicals such as acids should be transported in an approved plastic acid bucket to avoid spills. Additionally, acids often need to be diluted to the proper concentration. To dilute an acid, the acid must be added to water, not the other way around. If water is added to a strong acid, a violent reaction could occur, splashing the acid on the user. Depending on the chemical that spills, the appropriate response and cleanup procedures can differ. For safety, however, regardless of the type of spill, all students should stop working and move away from the spill site for safety. If a flammable chemical has been spilled, the area should be vacated until it has been completely cleaned. If it has started to burn, the flames should be extinguished using a fire extinguisher. It may also be necessary to evacuate the classroom or building at this point. For acid spills, powdered sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda, should be used to neutralize the spill before cleaning it up. Bases and many other potentially toxic and harmful chemicals can be neutralized, absorbed, and cleaned up using commercially available spill kits containing absorbent materials such as vermiculite. Safety is always your highest priority when working with chemicals in a lab. Accidents do happen. But observing safe cleanup handling procedures will minimize the chances of a hazard. If an accident does happen, make sure to inform the teacher. Learning in the laboratory is safe and exciting when you follow simple safety rules for handling chemicals to avoid spills.